the whole city series Cigars and citrus sevens, black cement threes, fours The hairs and bread elevens No doubt that I'll be wearing some fire at any sighting With these door and becker fives you can see me in any lighting It's exciting, I'll be flexing to the coldest degree What's up everybody, Sneakerhead M Checks I just picked up the 2022 Jordan Fire Red 3 Scheduled to release Saturday, September 10th now that's the U.S. release date. These already came out in a couple of other countries, I think earlier this month, but they don't come out here in the U.S. until September 10th. So as usual, we're going to take a close detail look at the shoe from all angles. After that, I'm going to put them on and step around them so I can see how they look on feet. After that, I'll share my opinion on the shoe, and then I'm going to talk about release and reselling predictions and all that stuff. So let's get right to it. They got this thin elephant print on them, on the toe, like the OG Fire Red 3. Leather on them is pretty nice. They come with this uh, Nike Air hang tag. I'm really glad the elephant print on these is on point because if you guys recall, the 2013 and the 2007 pair had that like pretty much all black elephant print right here and over on the toe. And I never understood why they did that. I mean, I've seen pictures of uh, Jordan playing in the 88 pair and it does seem like it's a little darker. Um, it seems like it's a little bit more black than this part right here, but... I don't know if it's the lighting or whatever, because if you look at other pictures, like other close-up pictures of the OG, it kind of looks, uh, it does look a lot more like this. So I always wonder why the 2013 and the 2007 pair had that, like, all black. And I always wonder why they did that to the Retro Fire Reds, but none of the other um, OG Color 3s. But this is more like it. And the more I look at pictures of Jordan playing in the OGs, some of them, like I said, do look like it's uh, almost black, kind of more like the 2013 pair. But I keep looking at more photos, and actually, this elephant print is, this is it. And here's the most exciting part of this retro. The back with the Nike Air on the heel tab. It's been 34 years since the Fire Reds have been released. With the Nike Air. It was the first time since the OGs came out. Mostly gray interior. Got red on the uh, back side of the tongue. And as well on the insoles with the white Nike Air logo. And I got this little tag tucked in here. Like I said earlier, these came out in other countries already. This pair actually came from Korea. Which is why they have this uh, Nike Korea little hang tag on them. It's odd that like they do certain things in certain locations and not others. Like I've never seen anything like this for you know Nike USA but I've had numerous pairs from you know coming from Korea that you know have this little thing on them here are the soles no more and no less than you would have expected looking just like the OG Here's the box that they come in, your usual OG Jordan 3 style box. Um, seems to be a little bit more sturdy than usual. I feel like usually they make these boxes kind of flimsy, but this one's a little bit more tough. And you know what's interesting? Jordan Brand did the same exact thing with the 4s. That Fire Red 4s box is real tough and sturdy down here compared to your average Jordan 4 box. When it comes to Fire Red colorway, it seems like Jordan Brand likes giving that, you know, sturdier box when they've been giving us other pairs and not much in, in a not sturdy box. But enough about that. Let me show you how the coolest part about the box. If I could open it. I was actually hoping the 2018 Black Cements would come with this, but they didn't, but it's cool. Um, they have this OG Jordan 3 little um, pamphlet here that uh, came with the original you know 88 Jordan 3 so I thought it was cool that they did that they've been doing stuff like this a lot lately so why not do it with these and then you have your uh, elephant print paper inside here and then uh, another you know layer of you know this white paper and here's the box label Here's a quick all around view of the shoe. I 
All right, now let's see how they look on feet. We gonna get a couple bottles, drink them till they all done. Couple now I'm in the spot and we letting more in. Bring she wanna in. fuck with me cause a nigga boring. <laughs> Break a couple grams down and put them all in. Smoke, Big smoking months. Gary Payton like a Michael Jordan. Nine, six, Drinking like it's game six, taking mad shots. It's best that I don't drive, I done had a whole lot. I'm probably going home with this pretty ass thigh. She wanna ride with no protection like we in a slingshot. And I'm still lit. Yes, sir. Got Patron. I think they did a great job with these. Beautiful shoe, you know, all the details are on point. And it was really just about time that we got the Fire Red 3s with the Nike Air on the back. Because like I said earlier, this is the first time that these have re-released with the Nike Air. So now we're at a point where the Fire Reds, the Black Cements, True Blues, and White Cements all have re-released with the Nike Air on the back at least one time. In comparison to the 2013 and the 2007 pair, I like these way better. Not just because they got the Nike Air on the back and they got the, you know, the whole OG thing going on here. But like I said before, I appreciate the lighter elephant print. I just think that the shoe looks better with the gray and black elephant print where you can see the gray more. Kind of almost remind me of the Katrinas in a way, you know. This part right here gives me Katrina vibes for sure just because I'm used to the Vira 3s with that like dark elephant print. So just looking at them like at this angle for a second, I always think they're the Katrinas. Obviously I know they're not, but for like a hot second it kind of reminds me of them. Another thing that I noticed on these that I didn't really see as much on other Jordan 3 retros was the shape and the cuts and stuff definitely represented the OG way better than the most recent Black Cement 3s. Definitely, definitely the True Blue 3s and the White Cement 3s as well. It's very minor differences, but if you know, you know. I just feel like these got a little bit more OG treatment than the other three. But honestly, it's not a big deal. I'm just happy that these are nice looking shoe. They didn't do anything weird. And the quality is good. Because that's another thing we got to worry about nowadays. I don't know. Something made me feel like these weren't gonna have good quality and to see that they do you know definitely made me uh, feel good so definitely a must cop for me I know lately in my reviews when I get to talk about the pricing and reselling and stuff I've been pretty much saying the same thing for the last I don't know how many reviews but I feel like there hasn't been too much change a lot of the shoes I've been telling y'all don't cop them unless you want them for personal use the resale is not gonna be crazy people gonna be sleeping them they're gonna sit that's what we've been getting on a lot of releases lately now because these are OG colorway I wouldn't expect that to happen to these however they came out in a few countries already if you look at prices online these these in certain sizes are sitting at almost retail resale price now people with bigger feet like the 11s and 12s they're going for a little bit more I don't know if people in other countries just ain't messing with these like that but the demand is not there at least for the smaller sizes and like I said I know I've been telling y'all lately like oh the sneaker market is crashing reselling is not what it is before which is true but I just thought for an OG colorway like this that we would see a little bit nothing crazy but I figured this would be a shoe that would be reselling for you know honestly maybe close to 300 maybe 280 270 but they're not they're not in every size now here's my theory even with all that being said i still feel like at least over here in the u.s once these come out september 10th i feel like that price is going to change a little bit i feel like the release on these is going to be very similar to the playoff 12s release that we got earlier this year before the playoffs came out prices were high they were reselling for like four or five hundred dollars once they came out in a couple of other countries that price shot down and it got to a point where before the u.s release Pairs were reselling for around like 230. Then they came out, the price went up a little bit on release date. They went up to around like 250 to 280 ish, you know, depending on what size you're talking about. And ever since then, the prices just dropped and it sat there. And there really isn't too much demand for playoff 12s right now. A few weeks ago, these were reselling for like 450, 500 dollars. Now that they came out in other countries, the price has dipped down crazy, just like the playoffs did. And like I said, they're reselling for basically retail in certain sizes. Size 10 and up is a little bit more. You're looking at like 240 to 260 right now. But still, considering the circumstances, that's pretty low. Now, when these come out in the U.S., I feel like that resale price is going to go up on all the sizes. And then from there, they'll probably go down, you know, after a couple of weeks. I have slight doubts just because it's an OG colorway. But I've seen enough OG colorways lately, you know, like the playoff 12s, get to that point where they're reselling for not too much over retail. So maybe that hype that we got from the last dance a few years ago ago has died out and people aren't really loving og colorways as much. i mean og colorways are always gonna have that special attention because you know everybody knows like you know this is a shoot jordan played in a colorway jordan played it well i hope everybody knows that <laughs> if you don't you need to go do your homework <laughs> But um, I feel like these might be a little bit hard to cop on release date. But even if they are, after a few weeks, it shouldn't be too expensive reseller wise. They might be a little pricey for the bigger sizes, but the way the sneaker market is going, I don't think prices will be too crazy at all by October. So as far as reselling goes, it should be profitable in every size. 
well in every men's size but if you are going to resell i would suggest getting them off as soon as you possibly can because if you know how the market goes they're going to drop as far as holding i think these will be a good hold even though the market is all messed up now these are still an og colorway so they will eventually go up i personally wouldn't put a whole bunch of money into them but if you want to hold on to a couple of pairs these being an og colorway they'll definitely go up in the future good luck to everybody that's trying to cop a pair of these i wish you the best of luck in getting them in your size for retail if this video is helpful or informal in any way i really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up also if you're interested in more early reviews like this or other sneaker related content do us both a favor and subscribe to my channel just make sure you tap that little bell icon next to the subscribe button and select all that way you'll get notified when i put a new video out and you won't miss out on anything thank you all for watching everybody please stay safe and healthy out there and i'll see you next time